In a region where tension is the norm and conflicts are an ever-present reality, the recent interception of enemy missiles by the Israeli defense system has ignited a firestorm of discussion and debate. The sight of advanced technology thwarting incoming threats has captured global attention, serving as a stark reminder of the relentless struggle for security during perpetual turmoil. This event, like a beacon amidst the darkness, has drawn the gaze of the world to the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, prompting reflection on the implications for both sides and the elusive quest for lasting peace. The interception of enemy missiles by the Israeli defense system serves as a vivid illustration of the entrenched dynamics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which has deep historical roots. Stemming from decades of competing claims to land and identity, the conflict has seen a succession of wars, displacements, and diplomatic efforts, each leaving its mark on the collective psyche of both Israelis and Palestinians. Against this backdrop of historical grievances and territorial disputes, the recent interception stands as a poignant reminder of the ongoing struggle for security and sovereignty in the region. It is within this context of entrenched conflict and competing narratives that we must examine the profound implications of such military actions on the prospects for peace and stability in the Middle East. Let's dive through the tremendous history of the region. During Operation Cast Lead in 2008 to 2009, the Israeli military utilized precision-guided munitions, unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, and sophisticated surveillance technology to target Hamas militants and infrastructure in Gaza. Additionally, the Iron Dome missile defense system, which had been developed in response to earlier rocket attacks from Gaza, intercepted many of the rockets launched by Hamas towards Israeli cities. In Operation Pillar of Defense in 2012, both sides showcased advancements in military technology. Israel employed its Iron Dome system to intercept rockets fired from Gaza, significantly reducing the effectiveness of Hamas's rocket attacks. Meanwhile, Hamas utilized longer-range rockets and improvised explosive devices IEDs, to target Israeli military forces and infrastructure demonstrating a degree of innovation and adaptability in their tactics. The 2014 conflict, Operation Protective Edge, saw a further escalation in the use of advanced weaponry. Israel conducted extensive airstrikes using fighter jets, attack helicopters, and drones to target Hamas militants and command centers in Gaza. Ground forces also utilized advanced armor and infantry equipment during the ground invasion of Gaza. Hamas, for its part, continued to launch rockets into Israeli territory, some of which were capable of reaching major population centers such as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Additionally, Hamas employed tactics such as underground tunnels and improvised explosive devices to target Israeli soldiers operating in Gaza. Throughout these conflicts, advancements in war technology, including precision-guided munitions, missile defense systems, and surveillance technology, played a crucial role in shaping the strategies and outcomes of the fighting. However, the use of such technology also raised concerns about civilian casualties and the humanitarian impact of the conflicts, underscoring the complex ethical and moral dilemmas inherent in modern warfare. The arrow weapon system is part of an array of missile defenses Israel has developed in recent years to protect itself in any future conflict with archenemy Iran or regional militant groups, such as the Lebanese Hezbollah or the Palestinian Hamas in the Gaza Strip both allies of Iran. The Defense Ministry said the system detected the target and fired two Arrow 3 interceptors at it, calling the mission a success. With every step forward, with every development, we equip the State of Israel with the capabilities to defend itself against developing threats. Defense Minister Benny Gantz said in a statement, our systems provide Israel with the freedom to maneuver strategically. The system was developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, a state-run defense firm, in cooperation with the U.S. Missile Defense Agency. This test was designed to challenge every element of the aero weapon system, and it performed beautifully, said Vice ADM John Hill, director of the agency. MDA remains committed to assisting the government of Israel in upgrading its missile defense capability against current and emerging threats. Israel's shorter-range missile defenses were on vivid display during last year's 11-day Gaza War when the Palestinian militant group Hamas fired over 4,000 rockets at Israel. The military says it intercepted around 90% of the rockets it targeted, with the others mostly falling in open areas. Israel's Air Force used the Arrow 3 air defense system to intercept a missile launched at Eilat by Houthis in Yemen. It was the first ever use of the system and came on the heels of the first successful use of the Arrow 2 system for the same purpose last week, which marked the first ever instance of combat outside Earth's atmosphere. 
The Aero 3 system, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, a leading defense firm, is an advanced air defense system for intercepting ballistic missiles in space. In August, Israel announced that it would sell the system to Germany for NIS 14 billion in what is to date the largest defense deal in Israel's history. The sale came amid Germany's decision to upgrade its defenses in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This is a historic interception, said Israel Aerospace Industries President and CEO Boaz Levy, which strategically emphasizes Israel's multi-layered response to long-term ballistic threats. The Aerosystem of Air Defense represents Israel's top tier for long-range missile interception. For medium range, Israel uses the David Sling system, similar to the US-made Patriot system, which Israel also uses. David Sling, made by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, was jointly developed with the U.S. and has been sold to Finland. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in Israel, the Trophy is an active protection system that can intercept incoming anti-tank missiles and rocket-propelled grenades, used frequently by Hamas terror squads operating from inside the group's tunnel network. It is installed on all Israeli Merkava Mach 4 tanks operating in Gaza. Numerous videos from the past few weeks have documented its use. We encountered dozens of anti-tank missiles that flew toward our forces, and we were able to prevent harm from all of them due to the effective systems we have," explained Brig, Jenab Yitzhak Cohen, commander of the IDF's 162nd Division that is operating in the northern Gaza Strip. The idea to invent an active protection system for tanks was born in the 1970s after the Yom Kippur War, during which IDF tanks suffered heavy losses at the hands of Egyptian anti-tank squads. It would take years until Trophy became operational. But when it did, it was a revolution. It gave the IDF the ability to take tanks, an artifact of 20th century wars, and transform them to be relevant in asymmetric and close urban battles like those in Gaza. Trophy operates in three stages. First, its radar detects the launching of an RPG or anti-tank missile. Its second stage, in soft kill mode, activates electronic warfare systems aimed at causing the missile to go off course. If that fails, the system initiates the third stage and shoots off a cloud of countermeasures, metal pellets, to intercept the incoming projectile. Trophy's radar then interfaces with the IDF's battle management system, called Sayyad Hunter, automatically providing the tank crew with the coordinates of the anti-tank squad that just fired the missile so it can immediately be attacked. The lower tier of Israel's air defense is the better-known Iron Dome system, which has intercepted some 2,000 of the 9,500 thousand rockets launched by Hamas from Gaza since the outbreak of war with the terrorist group on October 7th. Most of the rockets intercepted were heading for urban areas. These three systems, which together represent decades of Israeli air defense efforts, are integrated so that Israeli defense forces can choose the appropriate system as soon as a threat is detected. Typically, threats from Hamas and Gaza are dealt with using the Iron Dome. The Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen, however, represent a greater challenge, with an arsenal of long-range ballistic and cruise missiles. Israel has used F-35 airplanes to shoot down a cruise missile from Yemen during this war. Israel's successful use of the Aero 3 air defense system to intercept a missile launched by Houthis in Yemen marks a historic milestone in the country's defense capabilities. This achievement, coupled with the recent sale of the system to Germany and the ongoing integration of of multiple defense systems underscores Israel's commitment to maintaining a multi-layered defense against a diverse range of threats. As Israel continues to navigate complex regional challenges, its investment in cutting-edge technology and strategic partnerships remains crucial in safeguarding its security and deterring adversaries. United States President Joe Biden said on Tuesday that his administration had already begun sending Israel additional military assistance, including interceptors to replenish the Iron Dome defense system. Iron Dome is designed to protect against incoming short-range weapons. It operates in all weather conditions. It uses radar to track rockets and can differentiate between those that are likely to hit build-up areas and those that are not. Interceptor missiles are only fired at rockets expected to strike populated areas. For years, Israel has been heavily reliant on the Iron Dome system to detect incoming rockets in attacks by Hamas and then intercept them. The system is equipped with a radar that detects an incoming rocket, its speed, and its direction. The control center then calculates whether or not the rocket poses a threat to Israeli towns. The rockets that do not pose a threat are allowed to land in empty fields. If the rockets pose a threat, the missile firing unit launches missiles to shoot them down. The launcher contains 20 interceptor missiles. Iron Dome was originally billed as providing city-sized coverage against rockets with ranges of between 4 and 70 kilometers, 
2.5 to 43 miles. But experts say this has since been expanded. Israel claims that the Iron Dome is 90% effective. U.S. Department of Defense officials have echoed this statement. In the past, the system has successfully intercepted previous rocket attacks, according to the Modern War Institute. However, Saturday's surprise attack by Hamas, the kind of strike that the Iron Dome is designed to intercept, managed to overwhelm it. This is because previously, it was a small number of rockets that were launched at Israel. Even when Hamas substantially increased the number of rocket attacks in May 2021 fighting, only 470 rockets were fired on the first day. Those were intercepted by the defense system. The recent attack was significantly different. Hamas said it launched 5,000 rockets in an initial barrage. Israel's military countered by saying 2,500 rockets were fired. That quantity was simply too much for Iron Dome to manage, said the Modern War Institute report. The rockets were fired in a short space of time in an attempt to overwhelm Iron Dome. Others have been fired from Lebanon by Hezbollah. The Israeli Defense Forces said more than 8,000 rockets have been fired at Israel since the 7th of October. Some rockets have evaded Iron Dome and fallen on built-up areas causing several deaths and injuries, according to Israeli media. On the 27th of October, four people were injured when a rocket hit an apartment building in Tel Aviv. However, Israeli military spokesman Lieutenant Cole Jonathan Konrikas said, the number of Israelis killed and wounded would be far higher if it had not been for the Iron Dome system, which has been a lifesaver as it always is. The U.S. has said it will reinforce Israel's anti-rocket defense by handing over two of the Iron Dome batteries that it operates in Israel. In March 2019, the United States deployed the Terminal High Altitude Area Duff and Thad system to Israel for a joint military exercise, marking a significant milestone in the strategic partnership between the two countries. This deployment, which involved more than 200 U.S. military personnel and included radars and launching systems, showcased the capability of Todd to enhance Israel's air defense capabilities. The primary purpose of this tactical deployment was to practice rapid deployment across the globe of complex systems and to strengthen cooperation between the Israeli Air Force's air defense systems and the U.S. military. This exercise underscored the ongoing collaboration between the U.S. and Israel in the realm of missile defense, highlighting the shared commitment to enhancing regional security and stability. Additionally, the deployment of Tayyad's Army Navy transportable radar surveillance, AN slash TPY2, radar to Israel as early as 2012, further demonstrates the long-standing partnership between the two countries in addressing ballistic missile threats. This high-resolution X-band radar array plays a crucial role in providing early warning against ballistic missile launches, enhancing Israel's ability to detect and respond to potential threats in its airspace. Overall, these joint exercises and deployments reflect the depth and breadth of the strategic alliance between the U.S. and Israel and their mutual dedication to bolstering missile defense capabilities. Israel's defense capabilities are actually the result of decades of investment in research, development, and innovation. The Arrow and David Sling systems are prime examples of this. The Arrow system, developed in collaboration with the United States, is designed to intercept long-range ballistic missiles, providing a layer of defense against threats from countries like Iran. David Sling, also developed with U.S. support, offers protection against medium-range rockets and complements the capabilities of the Iron Dome. Israel's robust air force, equipped with modern aircraft and advanced aerial technologies, provides another critical layer of defense. This includes capabilities for reconnaissance, surveillance, and strategic strikes, enabling Israel to monitor and respond to threats effectively. The country's defense industry, led by companies like Israel Aerospace Industries and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, plays a central role in developing and producing cutting-edge technologies for both domestic use and export. These companies are renowned for their expertise in areas such as missile defense, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, cyber defense, and electronic warfare. Israel's strong partnerships with allies, particularly the United States, are also instrumental in bolstering its defense capabilities. The U.S. provides significant military aid and technological cooperation, enhancing Israel's ability to address evolving security challenges. This partnership extends to intelligence sharing, joint military exercises, and collaborative research and development efforts. There's a recent example when Iran fired missiles and rockets that were destroyed by Iron Dome, a short-range system that has intercepted thousands of rockets and drones fired by both groups. According to Israeli manufacturer Rafael Defense Systems, it boasts a 90% success rate. Earlier this week, Israel also debuted the maritime version of the Iron Dome, 
an air defense system known as Sea Dome to intercept a Houthi drone. But the Iron Dome does have limitations. Some rockets have punched through, several fired by Hezbollah against Israel did on Friday, and the defense system is best suited for rockets or missiles fired from short distances. Its radar has a range of 4 to 70 kilometers, about 2.5 to 43 miles. To deal with medium to long-range missiles or drones, the type it will likely face in Iran's attack on Saturday, Israel installed the David Sling system in 2017. With a range of up to 300 kilometers, about 186 miles. Its main goal is to protect against and intercept large caliber rockets, drones, or short range ballistic missiles. The David Sling system is capable of intercepting missiles fired towards Israel by enemy countries such as Iran and Syria, the IDF said in a statement when the system was introduced. In addition to these short and medium range capabilities, Israel also has the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 anti ballistic missile systems, which are designed to target and strike long range ballistic missiles at a range of up to 2,400 kilometers, 1,491 miles. The Aero 3 system has also been used to shoot down ballistic missiles in space. In addition to these domestically developed air defense systems, Israel also operates U.S.-made Patriot air defense systems, which have a reported range of up to 160 kilometers, about 99 miles, and can intercept most types of missiles. These have proven quite effective against Russian hypersonic missiles in Ukraine. Israel can also deploy its extensive air force. Its fleet includes U.S.-made F-15, F-16, and highly advanced fifth-generation F-35 jets. All of these can be equipped with air-to-air -air missiles and are capable of shooting down incoming drones or missiles. Meanwhile, in Gaza, where the skies remain silent under the vigilant watch of Israel's defense technology, there is a sense of shock and awe at the capabilities of their adversary. The Iron Dome's success, while a testament to Israel's technological prowess, leaves many in Gaza reeling from the realization of the power imbalance in the conflict. In Israel, where the Iron Dome's success is measured not only in intercepted missiles, but also in the fragile breaths of those it protects, shock and resilience coexist in a delicate balance. The toll of conflict, unseen and often overlooked, manifests in the silent struggles of ordinary people, their dreams deferred, their lives forever altered by the specter of violence. Amidst the piercing of the sky by the Iron Dome over Israel, let us pause to reflect on the profound human cost of conflict. Each intercepted missile carries with it not only the potential for destruction, but also the undeniable reality of pain and loss. It is a stark reminder of the urgent need to move beyond shock and fear, to embrace dialogue and empathy as pathways to healing and reconciliation. The importance of dialogue and peaceful resolution cannot be overstated. In light of the recent events surrounding the Israeli defense system's interception of enemy missiles, it becomes increasingly evident that lasting solutions to conflicts must be sought through diplomacy and negotiation rather than perpetuating cycles of violence. It is imperative for all parties involved to engage in sincere and constructive dialogue with a commitment to understanding each other's perspectives and finding common ground. Only through dialogue can we address the root causes of conflict address grievances, and pave the way for a peaceful and sustainable resolution. As we navigate the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and similar conflicts around the world, let us prioritize diplomacy, empathy, and mutual respect, recognizing that peace is not achieved through force, but through genuine understanding and cooperation.